All right, so today is gonna be a very interesting day. At first, we're having a launch. Well, Pro Members launch today, launches tomorrow for Santa Lucia. So if you're a Pro Member, you probably received an email by now. Yes, by now, with the password for you to get in. And if you're a yearly member, you probably got another email with a discount code. So, so keep a lookout for that. And tomorrow is the official launch for Santa Lucia, which this fragrance is amazing. We're having a new fragrance. We're having a deodorant. We're having a solid cologne. And on top of that, we're having a body lotion. So we're gonna sell everything individually and everything in a bundle. We are, I'm actually gonna show you what the solid cologne looks like. Let me be right back. <laughs> All right, so this is the solid cologne, which is pretty cool. So we have this metal case. This is metal, not plastic. This is solid metal, and it has our logo right there. And the cool thing, and it just flips open, and you have solid cologne. All you have to do is dab it and put it on your pressure points, all right? And this will keep you smelling all day long. Now, this is not a substitute to your fragrance. This is in addition to it. So in the morning, you put some fragrance on, and then throughout the day, you carry this in your pocket, you take it out. New York City for you. You take it out, you open it up, dab, and you're gonna smell fresh all over again. So these are pretty cool. Now, I'll have a meeting right now in about five to 10 minutes. Um, this is an hour long meeting. Oh, David. It's going well. How about you? Good, man. Yeah. Can you enable split sharing, please? Yes. All five here. Can you see my browser? Yes. So, thank you all for coming today. All right, so give you a little bit of context about what these meetings are about. It's about getting a group of editors. We're trying to expand our group of editors. We're gonna have seven, six, 10 editors working under us, but this is just a group of about five. And from there, we're gonna have them teaching other editors and just have this big group of editors helping us create more content, be everywhere from TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube Shorts, everywhere with this massive group army of editors working with us and our contents. All right, so we're done with that meeting, but talking about product in Santa Lucia releasing this weekend, I wanted to talk to you about essentials. We have a lot of new products coming in for next month. So we're doing another launch next month of essentials. I think this is the first time in history where we're trying to do a launch every month for every company, bringing you guys new product, new fragrances, new shampoo, new conditioner, etc. But let's talk a little bit about essentials and a few of the products that we're looking at. So we're looking at this hoodie, which is pretty cool. It's double layered, it's flipped with, it, with itself. Pretty, pretty cool hoodie here that we have here. Um, let's see, bring back a zip up hoodie, which this one's pretty cool. If you guys remember our original hoodie that we released had the hidden pockets. This one has the hidden pocket. It doesn't have the kangaroo pouch, but it's a zip up hoodie. Um, some boxy tees. We have this pretty cool jacket here. Pretty light, great for the spring. Club color shirts, which are amazing for the summer, spring, summer. You can use them open, have a little tank top on the bottom. Pretty cool, has that boxy look to it. Um, all this is gonna be new, all this is gonna be released. We're gonna do new sweatpants, more t-shirts. We're gonna do a quarter zip for working out as well. Another hoodie, but this one does come with a kangaroo pocket. Let's see. Oh, this is one of my favorite hoodies right here. This one is cropped and it has a raw hemline on the bottom, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but it has a raw hemline on the bottom. Henleys, coming back with the Henleys. I know a lot of you guys love Henleys, so coming back with Henleys. Uh, more uh, t-shirts, t-shirts, t-shirts. Um, this is a string tee uh, or a string tank top for working out. If you guys are interested in that, we're doing that as well. We're doing some track pants and some sweat shorts. So it's a lot of new stuff coming up. Um, we're even working on some gloves as well. If you want, if you're into that aesthetic, some essential gloves. So there's. So there's a lot that we're doing, there's a lot that we're working on, and on top of that, we're, you know, we're working on e-grooming, new collection for Jade Black, everything is just coming one after another, so stay tuned. You guys might not know this, but I used to cut my hair when I was in school. 
Well, he wouldn't cut the hair. He would line up. That's what he would do. He I was, wanted to be a barber. He wanted right. to be a barber. Just fix it up, bro. That looks stupid. So to be fair, the product works on the sides. The thing <laughs> is that you left it up. I know, bro. The thing is that you don't know how to cut hair, bro. I I didn't have a mirror. I did it blindly. Okay, now I guess you can just switch up to your to a regular one and then start blending. Guys, what the f is he doing back there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That is your mess. <laughs> Bro, you see, you see that? I'm gonna I'm call Chris. Yeah. That was your mess. I'm trying I'm to call Chris. Your mess. No, bro. Come and save me. And you know, Chris warned me. He's like, you're gonna jack it up. <laughs> see, that's the way that, that I would do it. So it sits fully open? Well, I'm trying to fully open first before yeah. I even. And then just go to. Uh, honestly, all jokes aside, the, no, trimmer, the trimmer works if you're broke. But Dave, David's was good. I'm still, I'm still higher than Chris. The trimmer is great if you don't want to be spending. And money the money. worst part that he went up here with this thing. Oh, I didn't. I know. The thing is that he I didn't. Went I was all the way up. So bro. I was going like this. I sort of got going like this. So you just boom. Yeah. Like, no, no he went all the way up here. Bro, yeah. no mirror. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, given that I didn't even see, it's not that bad. Well, the sides are good. The front is good. Look, this, this side right here. See, even the front. So like when I talk to people, I just keep going like this. <laughs> And the elevator, I always take the back. I have to cut hair, bro. Is he doing anything like that? No, I don't see any hair coming out. Okay, go up one millimeter. I, I have, I don't wanna keep Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just come over here. He went up here, Whoa. then back down here, yeah. then he kinda like, oh, let me just do a little. <laughs> no, what about I it? swear to God. No, you and can't then he, tell. It has a little bald spot. You can't tell. You, you can't tell. I'll never lose hair. Look at all those spots. The, the, Just erase like the line. He can't. That's what I'm trying to figure. <laughs> he can't. Oh, you have a hard line. Right, look at this side. Look at this side. Turn around. And then this you have side. A hard line. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like from right here to here, that's amazing. No one crazy is gonna for be a right. free haircut, bro. That like you could do all the time. It's 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 great. If you're broke, yeah. But I didn't have a back hair, so I was, I was just... I he was, was trying to prove a point. That I was winging it. I bet he's fixing it, though. But honestly, this cut is better than my first cut. I think you're messing, up, messing him up more. No, for real? <laughs> this is a you know, bro, no, no, you didn't do anything. It's, so that's how bad it was. <laughs> that's how bad it was. <laughs> what did you do, bro? <laughs> he I'm just trying got... to remove it, and I can't. Oh, just go God. lower. Do you know what you're doing? I chopped up my hair using my own self trimmer, bro. Take it off. Take the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I just could do it myself. No, okay, really. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fix it already. So you guys have been asking about my like, riding gear after you saw me riding in the motorcycle, so I'm going to give you a real quick rundown of what I wear when I ride a motorcycle. And the first thing you have to wear is gear. When you make sure you ride for the slide because it might happen and most likely going to happen. So the first thing that I wear is a good jacket. This is the Dynasty jacket. Um, I love this one because it's super fresh. It has this mesh in it. So if it's really hot outside, this is perfect. It has the shoulder, elbow, and you can buy a pad for the back. So this is a great jacket to have if you live in a very hot environment. I have two jackets. I have this one and I also have a Speedy, which is waterproof and it's great for all seasons. Like this jacket is a little bit bigger than what I usually wear just because if it's a little bit cooler, I'll put a hoodie on and it's just nice and snug with the hoodie on. But you know, it should be a little bit tighter if I don't wear a hoodie, but I like having the option of wearing both. The next thing that I use is a balaclava. I love using these things, especially with my helmet. If it's cold, it helps me with the cold. If it's hot, I sweat into this. I don't make my helmet so dirty. So I always wear a balaclava with me. This one, I got it from Amazon for around 15 bucks. This jacket runs for around $170. For the helmet, I wear a showy 14, this is the RF 1400, as you guys can see right there. This is the showy, I love this one, super comfortable, super quiet. I love the new style of showy. The 1200 has the little clip on the side, very hard to open. With the new one, this one closes easily and opens easily. This helmet runs for around 
five to six hundred dollars. On top of that, I changed the visor to a one that is transitional. So if there's not a lot of light, it's clear. If there's a lot of sun and stuff, it becomes really dark, which I like. I also have the corridor with me, just as you know, Bluetooth. If I need to make a call, need to listen to the maps, or if you want to listen to a little bit of music. For gloves. I also have two pairs of gloves. I have a pair that is waterproof, so if I know that it might rain or there's a possibility, I'll use those. And this is my everyday glove, pair of leather gloves from Benesi as well with the carbon fiber knuckles and it has support on the sides for your pinky and stuff like that. And um, they're just great, great protection. Make sure you get a good quality of leather gloves as well because it's just an extra layer of protection on your skin. And on top of that, for jeans, I just wear a regular pair of jeans, but underneath I wear a pair of leggings that are, that are actually armored. I have knee pads on it and they're actually made out of Kevlar portions of it where if you fall that's going to help you protect it so you have the jeans and the Kevlar I do recommend you probably should get some good pair of riding pants but you know if, if you're like me I'd rather wear jeans it's a little stupid but at least wear those leggings at the bottom to run for around 100 180 bucks if you can get a good deal these gloves run for around 130 bucks that visor I got is about 80 to 100 bucks plus like I said the helmet's about six hundred dollars totally worth it if you're gonna ride it's it's all about your protection making sure that you're safe and you enjoy the ride so let me put it all on so you guys can see the whole look Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos, remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.